All right, everyone, it's Tony from the Branded Man Garage. Today we're going to show you how to do the proper technique for stripping wire, and then he's going to be doing the soldering. So we're going to do this in multiple different short videos. So right now what he's doing is he's clipping the wires to make them all straight, equal lengths. And then what he's going to show you is the exact proper technique for actually stripping. Uh, he did this as uh, his profession. He went and built wiring harnesses. So this is how you exactly strip a wire. Find the right size. Take the wire. You go down, up, straight pull. You don't cut any wires. No frayed wires. That looks Basically. exactly like it would if you would have a brand new wire coming from like a radio harness or something. That's exactly how it's done. And see how the wire, exactly how it should be. Uh, then we'll show you the next technique will be when he starts soldering. So right now what he's going to do is cut everything the same length. Uh, and then what we did was we had this one. This is for the... Uh, the TPS sensor, the maps, or the uh, mass airflow sensor, and the uh, the IAC, and this is what he did. So, um, we'll show you guys the next uh, the next session will be when we start soldering it, and then he's going to shrink it. He's got all his own tools. He told me my tools weren't good enough because my old wire stripper that I used from like in the nineties. He said it wasn't good enough, so he had to come and show me what was up. Because this is what he did for profession. So we took those wires, and now what he's doing is he he's putting the flux on it, and then he's adding a little bit of solder. So on every one, slowly but surely, going, and he's adding solder to them. So then he, what we're going to do is it's called the J-hook. And we're going to hook these together and then solder them together so then they can't pull apart. Um, this is things that people usually, I mean, you could probably watch YouTube videos on this. The problem is uh, there's no one on the 3800 boards that actually show you the, to this level of how to do this. And the thing is, is my nephew did this for a living. Um, so that's why I brought him in to do this because I, I just... Wasn't very motivated to do this. And the problem is I didn't even know this, these techniques that he's using. Um, this is the real way that uh, that the professionals make wiring harnesses. Um, he did some from, I, I don't want to use the, the company's names, but he did this for major manufacturer of equipment, parts, and their harnesses. He did Cummins, Rosenbauer, Polaris, all stuff like that. So I'm over here making, um, Darren's over there cutting the wires for me, and then I'm here um, soldering, um, adding solder to all the wires, and we're going to do what's called a J-hook. So um, I'm going to make this as a YouTube series on how to make a wiring harness, so you guys can follow along and do it on your own. The problem that I keep on having with this is just actually sitting down to do this tedious work. The thing is, Darren brings so much knowledge because this is what he did for a profession. And when you do this for a profession, you have just so much more knowledge than even me. Um, I don't know how, I don't know exactly how the other guys do this, but this is the proper technique to actually make this harness. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it as a hook and we're gonna hook the wires together so then they will never pull. The problem that I noticed with, with uh, with Quinn's okay so here is how the hook is gonna be and then he's gonna hold it together and then we're gonna solder it so I'm gonna keep on working on this and then when we get to that point I'll make another video I'm gonna keep on making these videos and clips and actually adding um, information to all the clips so I can try to teach us the best way I can to make you guys be able to follow along and not lose your focus All right, so right now we're going to be doing the blue and white IAC wire. Um, he's going to show me how the proper technique of his J-hook for making harnesses when he was working 
at a company that's all he did and he's making everything all nice he's taking the two wires together they're soldered taking his pliers then he closes it both of them are closed take his soldering iron putting a little solder on it More solder or hotter? There you go. That's it. All right, now we're gonna heat up the shrink and show you how to do that. That's it. That's how you do it. So now we're going to keep on going through the harness. Right now we're uh, we're working on the 202 sensors. So you got a purple wire, and then you got, and that's 10, and then you got a purple and white. That's a pin 11 on the C2 clear connector. Uh, he put the shrink tube on there. He's uh, closing the J hooks, and then he's going to use the solder, and then solder it, and then we will heat up the shrink and then he will roll it with his fingers so I'll actually show you this too we're just gonna keep on I'm not gonna show you the whole harness how to make it but what we're doing is trying to prepare you to do this on your own so you don't have to hire the other guys that um, have other jobs it's not their full-time jobs and I really think if you guys follow these steps you'll be able to make a really good harness um, so right now he's gonna use the solder Heating the J-hook up, letting it dry, or, or cool down, I mean. And add a little, little more, make it real nice. He's doing the other one. Done. And he's gonna get the little torch. He would, he would use like a heat gun. Uh, the torch is, I don't know, I like the torch, so. It's just quicker than trying to use a heat gun. So, and then he'll roll it. That was what I wanted to show you guys, how to roll it. So you actually roll it so then it holds it tight and it doesn't pull out and then moisture or whatever can't get in there. It shouldn't because this, this harness is actually gonna be inside the car. This part right here will be inside the Fiero. So that's it. That's it, man. That's all you have to do to make a harness. The problem that I was having too is, so that's going to be the old Fiero wiring, and we're going to have to mate that in here. Um, that's the issues I was having, and that's why I really brought him in here. But the more that I was watching him teach me this stuff um, has really helped me improve my harness making, um, not to have any problems. Uh, because I don't do full length anymore, uh, that was the har first harness I was taught uh, by Tim to do a full length. Uh, this is actually a different way that they actually um, been doing it now for years. Have a good one.